Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to open or extract a tar gz file in Linux. So here we have one file, it's a tar gz file. So let, let's unpack it. So the easiest way to do this is just to use the tar command and you're going to use, say xvfz and then the file name. So the x tells it to extract it, v tells it to do it in verbose, you don't really need that. F tells it to, to do this to the file that we're specifying right here. And Z tells it to unzip it also. So X will extract the contents of the tar file, but the tar file is gzipped. So we use a, a Z to tell it to un, un gzip the tar file first and then untar it. So let's try this. And there we go. We've just untarred this file. So that, that's how you would do that. Um, let's remove that and let's try another way of doing this just uh, so that's pretty much everything you really know or need to know right there but if you if you're curious and you want some more details let's take a look so you can say so we, we have our, our tar gz file here you can you can also say gun zip if you just want to unzip it or or on gzip it so it's, it's gzipped, not zipped. So it's a different algorithm from zip. But anyways, different type of file. But anyways, you can gun zip it. And that's going to give you this tar file. So now that you have a tar file, you can untar it. So similar command to before, xvf, but no z because it's not gzipped anymore. So we, we ungzipped it separately. And now, now all we have to do is untar it. So untar the file. And there we go. So let's see, what else should we, we cover? All right. Let's copy the file back in. Um, let's see here. So now we have our gzip file back. I cleared out the directory and copied it back in. Now we could say tar xf. Um, Example, and let, let, let's see how this works. Dash C um, to one. You know, you know what? Um, I'm going to create a directory. Let's try placing it in there. Oops, to one. So there we go. There we've unpacked it in there. Now um, you could also now that that's really useful if uh, now see when we unpack this it contains a directory but if it didn't have a top level directory like that and it just explodes in your current directory that would be kind of messy. So if you're not sure or you you know that's going to happen you might want to specify a directory like this. Or if you just want to organize it in a certain way or place it wherever you want to place it. So um, let's see, what do we have? So we still have our file here. So we could run the same thing, but we, we could um, we could only extract files that we want. All right, so th this, this is another thing. Let, let's try this. Um, first, let's see what's in here just to see what kind of files we might be looking for. All right, so let's say if we Let's let's try tar xf and um, take our tar gz file. And we could specify a couple files. Like say if we only want to grab this spec file, and we only want to grab this Erlang license file, we can run that. All right, so. These are within a directory in the archive, so we should have to actually specify them like this. So this is just getting to be a little bit verbose and messy, but basically we're saying tar xf, there's our tar gz file, there's uh, this file that we want to extract in this other file. So let's see if we can just extract these two files. And looks like it worked. 
Um, no, it didn't work unless it just placed them in here. I'm going to try. All right, so this is empty. Let's try only extracting those again. And that gives us, so it, it unpacks them into this directory. But if we search in that direct, if we check in that directory, it only unpacked these two files and not the rest of the stuff that would normally go in there. So that's worth knowing. The other thing you can do is tar tvf and your tar gz file. And this will just list out what's inside it. In case you want to see what's inside it, instead of X to extract, you're going to say T just to view it. Um, let's see here. All right, so we're, we're left with our tar gz file now. Tar. So the, the, the first command we used was tar xvfz um, erlang. So this, this works, but what if we, uh, we've already tried this, what if we remove the Z? Now, apparently this, this still works. Now, so what that means is you can pretty much unpack, the tar command will automatically unpack it without the D flag, without the Z flag. Now, um, I believe it's the case that you used to, it, the Z flag was required to unzip it in addition to before you were to actually extract it. But uh, apparently that's not the case anymore, um, at least with newer versions of, of the tar command. So that's worth knowing also. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else. You might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not gonna let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up on, and we've actually, if you wanna check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff. Um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.